In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the reverse FOIL method to solve for any 2 by 2 multiplication. Let's go! Now stay with me until the end of this video because this works for any 2 by 2 multiplication. So in this reverse method, we're actually going to do the O and the I first and the F and the L second. Alrighty guys, so outer first, the 8 and the 7 is going to give us 56. And the inner of the 6 and the 9 is going to give us 54. And the trick with these two numbers is, is that we need to add them together. So when we do that, we get a total of 110. And I'm going to actually write that number nice and big on the right. And now for the first, the 8 and the 9 is going to give us 72. Now, instead of writing it below the 0, we're going to shift it right over to the left. So we're going to write that 72 right here. And for the last, the 6 and the 7 is going to give us 42. So here, we're going to start that below the 0 and sort of shift it to the right. And then after we do that, we can just add the numbers vertically. So when we do that, we get a total of 8,342. All right, guys, this problem has a slight variation at the end of the problem, so I wouldn't want you guys to miss it and get the wrong answer. So here we go. The outer here is the 1 and the 4, so 4. The 2 and the 5 gives us 10, so I'm going to write the 14 on the top. And now for the first, the 1 and the 5 is going to give us 5, so I'm going to write that below the 1. And then here's what's different about this problem. When we multiply the 2 and the 4, we're going to get the 8. But instead of writing the 8 below the 4, we need to place, put a placeholder of 0 below the 4, and then write the number 8. So the answer if you, you get from multiplying the last digit is between 0 through 9, a single digit number make sure that you put that zero down. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. So once we uh, do that and add it all up, your answer is going to come out to 648. I hope this video helped you guys. Try it out in class and impress your teachers. See you guys next time on Math Challenge. Thank you.